Sorry, Chris Stevens. Thank you, Mr De Deputy Speaker. Can I associate myself with the comments made um, by the Shadow Front Bench in, in relation to paying tribute to uh, all the uh, uh, UN and aid workers who have been killed? And the Minister is correct to say and to remind the House that UK nationals are being held hostage by Hamas. That said, um, in this situation, the Israeli military must follow the laws of war. So has the government made an assessment of Israel's compliance with international human rights law since the 14th of October? On aid, as the, the Minister mentioned in his statement, hospitals in Gaza are running out of fuel and the UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees is warning that its aid operation will come to a stop shortly if fuel supplies don't get into Gaza with blood and life-saving equipment also running out. So has the uh, government considered sending military hospital ship to Egypt to help injured men, women and children who have been able to leave Gaza? And finally, the minister rightly said that there must be a political solution. The Red Cross has said it's not an exaggeration to say it's catastrophic in Gaza, where 4,100 Palestinian children have died at a rate of 180 children per day. So at what point will the UK government join many of us who are asking them to use the leverage to reach that political solution to call for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> well, I thank the uh, honourable gentleman for uh, what he has said and the tone of what he has said. And I thank him also for what he said about those brave humanitarian workers who have lost their lives. He, he asks whether we are aware of the full impact of the running out of supplies within Gaza, and I can assure him that we absolutely are. He uh, makes the point about the importance of following the rules of uh, war and international humanitarian law, and from both front benches, the absolute urging of the Israeli government to do that. We note the commitment of the President of Israel in that respect, but of course everyone will be watching to ensure that the rules of war are obeyed.